we're going to practice working with exponents um, with some uh, formulas on the GED mathematics formula sheet. Uh, this is a sheet of formulas that is available to anyone taking the GED math test and it's a great form to access if you don't um, have some of these formulas memorized. Um, anyway, what I want to do is look at the formulas that have exponents in them and show you some examples of how you can um, use the calculator to solve some of these types of problems. You can see right here in this first one the area of a square is area A is area equals S squared and that S is going to be side, side squared. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture and uh, of a square okay and a square as you know all sides are the same here's my side s represents the side so area equals side squared okay so if we want to find the area of this square um, and we want to know what the side dimension is then we can plug that number into the formula and and then get our area now one thing just to note the answer to any area problem, the unit of measurement is always going to be squared. So for instance, if in this square my uh, side length is 4 inches, my answer would be in inches squared. Okay. If this were, say, meters, then it would be meters squared miles, miles squared. Area will always have a unit of, me of measurement in its answer that is squared. And when the reader sees this, they know it's an area problem. Okay, so in this problem we have area equals side squared and what we want to figure out is the area. We know the side is 4 and we're going to square that number 4 squared is the same thing as 4 times 4 or if you have access to your calculator you're going to input 4 x2 and you get your answer 16. So our answer here would be area equals 16 inches squared. Let's do another problem that has a square or an exponent in the formula. Here we've got a circle, area equals pi r squared. And so we'll just do a, uh, I'll draw a circle. Um, remember, so now you need to know, well here, let me write this down, area equals pi r squared. Okay, pi, if you don't have a calculator, is going to be 3.14, that's a rounded number. It's going to go on forever and uh, really if you have a calculator that's the best way to get a more accurate number but if you don't 3.14 will work fine. R stands for radius, that's going to be halfway, half of the diameter. Diameter is going to be from here to here so radius is here. Okay, so if we want to find the area and um, let's say this is 10, 10 meters. Um, again, our answer is going to be meters squared, meters squared, okay? So we just plug in what we have, area equals pi, and I'll show you the 3.41 way and the pi way with the calculator, times 10 squared. So with the calculator, we would go pi, which is this button here, 10, and then x2, enter. Now in this case, with this calculator, and, and other calculators might not no, do it, but because this is the official GED calculator and the only one you're going to be able to use, you might get an answer that looks like this, 100 pi because that's 10 squared is 100 so it's really just rewriting it for you in the calculator. Now 
if you want to know, if, if, if it's a multiple choice and they're telling you that this is a possible answer, then go ahead and choose it. But if they're asking for a decimal number, what you want to do is then push this button above the enter. So here's enter. You want to push this button and then that's going to give you the decimal number. So 314 and we could round to the nearest hundreds place so that'd be 0.16 meters squared. Okay, so you might get 100 times pi meters squared. That might be a possible answer, but you also might get 314.16 or 16 hundredths meters squared. Now I did say if you don't have a calculator, you could use 3.14. So let me just rewrite that. We'll go area equals 3.14 times 10 squared and, you know, this is going to be 100, so you can multiply this by 100, and you're going to get the same number here. Uh, you probably won't get the 0.16 on the end because um, we don't see that 0.16 over here, or the 1, 6 over here. So I'm just going to put it on the calculator, and you get 314 meters squared. Notice this has, this is more accurate, um, more closely representative of this problem, um, because you've got the decimal number here, you, this one is devoid of it. So anyway, just if you have the chance to use pi, pi is better, but if, if in the directions it's telling you otherwise to use 3.14, then follow the directions. Let's look at some more formulas. Okay, so now uh, we don't seem to have any perimeter problems with exponents. Uh, looking at surface area and volume, um, let's see, surface area, uh, well, let's, let's skip that one. Let's go to volume of a cylinder, okay? So volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times the height. And I'll go ahead and draw that one out. And this will be, um, we might do one more after this. So let me go ahead and draw a picture of a cylinder and My, my drawing. This is a circle on top. There's a circle on the bottom that you don't see. Um, if you think of a juice can, that's the shape of a cylinder. So volume is pi r squared times the height. So it's very similar. Notice that this part here is the same over here, area of a square, of a circle, excuse me. This, and so basically what we're doing is we're finding the area of this circle on top and then we're going to multiply it by the height of the cylinder. Okay, so this is the height. Okay, and so volume is three-dimensional, area is just two-dimensional, so our unit of measurement is always going to be uh, cubed. So let's make an example. Say our, I'll draw another cylinder here. So let's say our radius is 7 inches and our height is, uh, oh, let's, let's make it um, 18 inches, okay? So the radius is 7 inches, the height is 18 inches, so that's from here to here, okay. So again, I'm going to rewrite my formula, and um, I'll go ahead and plug in what I have. So the radius is 7, that's 7 squared, times 18. Okay, so if we're going to use our calculator, uh, I got clear, I'm going to punch in my pi. 7x2 times 18. Okay, so again this calculator is not going to initially calculate the pi. What this is doing basically is taking 7 squared and then multiplying it to 18. That's going to give you the 882 pi, which is times pi. 
So again, that would be uh, inches cubed. But if we want to really know what that number is, you just hit this button down here with the two arrows. Just hit it. And now we get 2,770. And let's round to the nearest hundreds place. So 88 hundredths inches cubed. Almost it's squared. So inches cubed. Okay. So depending on how um, the question is worded or the multiple choices that you have, if you don't need to find the decimal uh, number, if you just need to know this part here, then you're good to go. But if it's asking you for a more exact number, then you're going to go ahead and um, hit those that button right here. And you could, again, use 3.14, and I'll go ahead and do that. So 3.14 times 7 squared times 18. And I'll just plug that into my calculator. And we're going to get something close. 2,769.48. Notice it's not the same. This one is a little bit smaller, not by a lot, but um, it's around. This is a rounded number, and so it's not going to be as accurate as using pi.